A few weeks ago, Jonte Porter was just another face in the crowd fighting to make his mark in the NBA, but now he has become the focal point of an investigation that threatens to rock the entire NBA world. But have a look at this. Tom Havistrell pointed this out. Porter's number 34 in gold. At the end of the quarter, in position to get a rebound, but his man pulls away. Yes, he is safe, but then the ball bounces right to him. Instead of grabbing the board, though, what was that? He, like, taps it to his teammate at the end of the quarter. Have you ever seen that before? Now, that was the third rebound of the game, and it's only the first quarter. The total is four and a half. So you can see Jonte go immediately to the coaches in the background and start pointing to his eye. So he left the game having re-aggravated an eye injury. Nowhere in the minutes he played did he get hit in the eyes. He wasn't even on the injury report before the game. But maybe he got that bored and was like, three in the first quarter, I'm out. A sportsbook employee told ESPN people were trying to do whatever they could to bet Jonte Porter props against the Clippers. And then just a few days ago, the same thing. We had a bunch of people trying to bet the under for more. So it looks like Jonte told people to bet his unders because that's what he could control. It's really suspicious if one person makes a huge bet, but spread out less red flags. And now it seems that line has been crossed. The Toronto Raptors, a team already weathering a storm of adversity this season, find themselves thrust into the spotlight. Lawsuits, trades, injuries, they've seen it all. But this, this is something else entirely. Stay tuned. Jonte Porter was a five-star recruit in high school. Porter had the world at his fingertips, but he chose a different route than his brother. Michael Porter Jr. stood out and soared into the NBA limelight with a lucrative deal. But fate had other plans for Jonte. Just as he was poised to make his mark at Missouri, tragedy struck. An ACL and MCL tear during an offseason sidelined him for what should have been his sophomore breakthrough. Because of this, he went undrafted. The road to redemption was challenging. Jonte found himself navigating the world of professional basketball, bouncing between teams in search of stability. From Memphis Grizzlies to the courts of G League teams like Wisconsin Herd, Motor City Crews, and Raptors 905, but a glimmer of hope emerged as the Raptors extended a lifeline in the form of a two-way contract worth $415,000. It was a chance for him to rewrite his narrative. Jonte found himself donning the Raptors jersey, grinding it out on the court with passion. Despite the odds stacked against him, he was making his presence felt, averaging 13.8 minutes and 4.4 points per game. But then a dark cloud ensued. Porter's comeback narrative was abruptly halted by a cloud of suspicion. Recent relevations have put him into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. The NBA announced that an investigation into him is ongoing. Allegations swirled around a series of prop bets tied to Porter's performance in the Raptors games on January 26, 2023 and March 20th. These allegations raised troubling questions about his involvement in potential misconduct. These prop bets raised eyebrows due to their correlation from Porter's early exits from those games, either due to injury or illness. What's more alarming is that the bets on Porter's benchmarks were very profitable both times. A closer look at the specific games under investigation sheds light on the concerning circumstances. The first game. In the first game, Porter's court time was limited to just 4 minutes and 24 seconds. Despite his brief appearance, he failed to make any impact, dropping 0 points and no successful 3-pointers. His stat line painted a dismal picture, with just 1 assist and 3 rebounds to his name. Porter's premature exit from the game was attributed to a re-aggravated eye injury, an injury that he had sustained in Toronto's previous matchup against the Grizzlies on January 22nd. In this game, the prop lines let bettors wager on Porter's performance. They could bet on points, rebounds, assists, and made three-pointers. But after this game, DraftKings circulated a report stating that bets on the under for Porter's three-pointers were the most lucrative NBA prop bets that night. The second game. The second game was on March 20th when the Raptors faced off against the Sacramento Kings. Once again, Porter's playing time was severely restricted to 2 minutes and 43 seconds. His departure from the court came prematurely yet again, this time attributed to illness. Porter repeated his previous performance. He failed to mark on the scoreboard, getting no points or assists. He only got two rebounds. Here, the prop bets were available for Jonte Porter's performance metrics, including approximately 7.5 points and 5.5 rebounds. After this game, a DraftKings media release did the same thing. It highlighted Porter's prop bets as the top earners of that evening's NBA matchups. The size of the bets on Porter's props raised suspicions. Multiple betting accounts tried to bet large sums from $10,000 to $20,000 on his performance before the Clippers game. While the exact figures may vary depending on the sports book, the better, and other variables, prop bets typically range between $1,000 and $2,000. Many high-stake bets on Porter's props appeared. 
They aligned with his short appearances due to injury or illness, and this led the NBA to launch an investigation. Raptors coach Darko Ryakovich addressed the situation, stating, I never doubt injuries. I never doubt honesty from players. Obviously, I've never had a situation like this before. Nobody wants those kind of situations to happen to anybody, to any team. We've just got to deal with it. Consequences the consequences of the allegations against Porter could be severe and far-reaching. If found guilty, his future in professional basketball in the NBA world would likely be done. The NBA would likely enforce strict penalties against him as a deterrent to other players. We all know professional sports leagues take a zero-tolerance approach to gambling-related infractions. The NBA has many options for punishment. These include fines, suspensions, contract terminations, and even expulsion. The gravity of Porter's situation cannot be overstated. This draws a parallel to the infamous case of Tim Donahue. He's a former NBA referee caught in a gambling scandal. Donahue's actions resulted in legal repercussions, including charges of conspiracy and wire fraud. Despite his low profile in the league, Porter's actions carry big implications. He is a player, regardless of his stature, but the alleged fixing of game outcomes strikes at the core of the NBA's commitment to integrity and trust. Adam Silver has stressed the league's commitment to integrity in pro basketball, but Porter's alleged actions directly contradict this rule. They threaten to harm the league's reputation. Porter is a journeyman player with limited fame or influence. He could become an easy target for the NBA to send a strong message against such misconduct. The NBA holds significant power to administer harsh punishment against Jonte, and they will likely do so, sending a strong message to deter others from compromising the integrity of the game. But amid the scrutiny on Porter, questions arise about the NBA's role and responsibility in the context of sports gambling. The league tries to regulate and monitor betting, but it partners with platforms like FanDuel to advertise, and this embrace of sports betting raises concerns. The NBA may argue that its safeguards caught Porter's alleged misconduct well, but it's hard to believe he is the only player doing this. Many betting options are available. Leagues promote sports gambling. This raises questions about the NBA's role in fostering such an environment. The NBA cannot stop the spread of sports gambling alone, but its embrace of the industry may have added to the current situation. League officials may defend their measures to keep integrity, but they still face a tension between promoting sports betting and preserving the game's purity. The possibility of other players engaging in a similar behavior looms large. The case of Porter may just be the tip of the iceberg. What if a more prominent player decides to manipulate the outcome of a playoff game or shave points off a crucial matchup? Porter may be the first to be caught in the web of gambling-related misconduct, but he certainly won't be the last. His case sheds light on the pressures and incentives. They may drive lesser players to do questionable things. With a modest salary of just over $400,000 on a two-way contract, he may have felt the temptation to supplement his income by exploiting player prop bets. This starkly contrasts established stars like LeBron James, who commands much higher salaries. However, his case also underscores a broader issue within the world of sports gambling. Athletes are susceptible to outside influences, but they face serious consequences if they give in. Recent scandals in college football are an example. They include allegations made by former SEC quarterback Mo Hassan. He says he was offered $300,000 to fix games. This shows the risk of gambling-related misconduct. In response to these allegations, the NCAA called for states to ban player prop betting on college athletes. Ohio, Maryland, and Vermont have already taken steps to do so. These efforts show a growing recognition. They recognize the need to protect the integrity of college sports and student-athletes from the allure of illicit incentives. But Porter's case is a cautionary tale. It shows the importance of strict regulations and support to reduce the risks of sports and gambling. Only proactive measures can keep sports honest. They will protect athletes in this complex, connected world. And speaking of players in trouble, don't forget to check out this next video where we explore Rajon Rondo's recent arrest and legal troubles.